One of the biggest things is um, everybody wants to be able to move faster. I do too. So I'm going to show you how to buy some nice boots um, with a lot of movement speed and exactly what you like for them. And you'll be able to move faster. And then in the next episode, I'll even show you how to do this automation where we automate life tap, automation, um, withering step, and phase run to go even faster. So let's turn that on. And you'll be doing something like this because I really want to uh, go quickly. So let's see, uh, we'll just blast those guys down and we can just run through these and go like that. And that's what you kind of want to get to. So um, let's get you to this point. <laughs> Not quite, but you understand the, the, the ideas. <laughs> we'll get you uh, at least closer to this point. Um, it takes a lot of work to get to this point, um, but it's a lot of fun. Nice. And let's see if we can knock these guys down real quick. Just having fun. And, oh, this is an easy one. Oh, we'll knock him out. And let's see if I can actually just stand still and not do anything. I'm going to stand still, not push any buttons. Let's see if we can get to that. It's only 218 depth, so it's not that terrible. But not too bad. The whole goal of this particular build is uh, being very lazy, not pushing any buttons and just winning so let's see if we can do that at the very end i should move a little bit no that doesn't matter I actually need that oh there is a couple of them right there nice so let's get into this episode hello and welcome back to path of exile necropolis league and in today's episode of the super detailed end game uh explained for new players we're going to show you how to purchase uh search for and purchase an upgrade such as maybe like uh, boots and something like that and you can use this uh, to figure out how to buy other things and we'll go over that as well in later episodes but this one we're just going to focus on just buying some boots and to do that you can do a bunch of different things but we saw we we went over an episode on how to do um, how to make your first 40 chaos um, we went over an episode on how to um, sell in bulk different things well i just did that and we got our first divine that way um you can get multiple divines but i just sold a bunch of fossils um and for 34 each and all i did was i had that uh bulk thing and i kept i'm keeping this one here as a price holder in my my sell tab here and that way if i get another 20 it looks like i'm selling right here 34 chaos and i want to sell 20 of these these particular fossils so as soon as i get another 20 i can go come over here and just add them in and sell them again and maybe do a price check but let's actually get here and go search for this item we also went over poe awake and trade and so you know how to do that as well so let's do a, a quick recap and you guys can skip ahead there's chapters at the bottom and then we're going to purchase purchase a new set of boots uh oh these have been sold so i'm going to go like this whisper sold and then i'm going to go like this and try to update it if i step in and step out it should hopefully update or at least try to force an update of the trade site database so let's do, go over the recap and then we'll be, buy some new boots and i'll try try to be as brief as possible here we go episode one covered um unlocking flasks all the basics of just getting getting started um, placing NPCs, your first four Atlas points, um, explaining map connections, the vendor recipe for three, three for one maps. So you can get a, uh, an upgrade to the next tier if you wanted to chaos recipe. You could still do that. You could still be selling bulk, bulk alterate, uh, alterations. Um, then let's see the item filter. You're probably going to have to upgrade to a, a higher, um, strictness. So you're going to have to go over to um, filterblade.xyz and get the next tier up, uh, maybe even semi-strict or strict or even very strict, or if you really want, uber, uber strict, but that's a little too much. Um, we spent our first 30 Atlas points, and I think next episode we're going to be spending the rest of them. Uh, not the rest of them, but another big chunk, and we're going to be getting shrines, and those are going to be allowing you to buff your uh, buff your maps and buff yourself, so the maps are easier. There's POE Awaken Trade. I hope you've done your fourth lab, and then earning your first divine. So let's go over the rest of it. Ooh, this guy wants how many? 
10 perfect divine or perfect fossils. So let's say I didn't know which one they were. You could just go like this. Perfect. They're there. These used to be a lot worth, worth three or four for one divine last league. But this league not as popular because of the new crafting thing, but that's okay. You put all those in there. Just hold alt. It'll add it up for you. There's the ten perfect fossils, except I, I say thank you. And then this guy, um, we're going to say sold. So let's go get those boots. Wow, that, that added up pretty quickly. <laughs> and I did another, what was that, like 30 or 40 or 70 right before that. So what you can see happens is if you consistently do some something that's worth anything of value, uh, blight, uh, heist stuff, anything that you start building up these things, essences, scarabs, and start selling them in bulk. Um, I had like 10, 10 black oils. I sold all those. Um, anything, even, I mean, you might be able to sell these in bulk. You might be able to sell... Oh, there's still way more of these that I can sell. I just haven't got to them yet. <laughs> um, I've sold these. I could sell these. I can sell all this stuff. And if it's not selling, like uh, I noticed that these aren't selling quite yet. Where the, where's the bulk? So here's the price. I'm going to go down to uh, 45 for 100. This is a really terrible price this league, but we'll see. If, I think next league they're going to fix that and it'll be better. So let's go get those boots. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, sell these boots. The first thing I want to do is um, I want to look at my defenses and right here to make sure if I take these off, what ha what how much lower is all this going to go? So if I take these off, I'm going to lose 18 cold and the lightning resistance. Okay, and it looks like that's it. Okay, so if I took those off. So if I just got an, a pair that had like 10 and 5 and 10, not very much here, very, very little, I'd be okay. In fact, I'd almost be okay with this cold being nothing and just maybe a little bit here. So in essence, even if I had nothing on there, I could get five, um, uh, five or 10, um, resist resistances elsewhere. So I'd be okay with nothing on those boots, literally like, uh, no, is re no resistances. So I'm going to press F1 and let's do that right now. So I'm going to hover. I press F1. Yours might be something like Shift D for a price check. I changed it to F1 for me on PoE Awaken Trade. And I'm just going to leave it just like this. And more than likely, there's not going to be any if I search. Because this is a pretty specific, this is pretty expensive. That's okay. I'm going to say Trade. And let's go take a look with what's been brought up. Which is nothing, but that's okay. We can, we can fix that. Okay, so it found nothing. But if uh, we make it less strict... Oh, I got to do a thing. One second. Another trade for 80 chaos. Nice. Um, we're going to make it less strict. So we're going to say, hey, let's let's just show me anything you've got with the current settings. Those boots are probably the armor is probably a little bit high. So let's say we just get some armor down to like 111. Now let's do the search again. Nothing. Let's take the let's take the light uh, the elemental off. Now, notice it doesn't say um, lightning and then. Where was the other one there? I think there was a, another one on there, cold. It just said one of the two, which is a little bit odd. But anyways, it does a total, um, pseudo total of all the elemental resistances on the item. Let's search again. Still nothing. So what could it be? Oh, the three white sockets. Aha. Let's remove that. We're going to say any sockets, and then we're going to go, um, we'll search again. Now we get some items, and they're pretty cheap. So it was the three white sockets that were holding us up. And there's an omen of blanching that I used to get those white sockets on there. Um, but it's <laughs> it's expensive, like 30 chaos a pop to do those. Maybe more. All right, so let's go, go over these items. We want... Um, I'm going to assume it's going to be you guys. So we're going to say, I want an item... Um, we don't care about the uh, the sockets and everything. We just want to make sure it's not corrupted. So we're gonna go. Hey, let's like show me an item that has I don't know 144 armor, and so you'll get an armor based boots, and then but you can you can change if you want energy shield or evasion based. You could do it that way as well. Any non unique, I like that. It's gonna be a rare, and then we're gonna say, give me something with um a little. I want a little more. I want like. 99 let's see if that comes up nope what about 
that. There we go, 5 chaos. So now we'd look over these and you'd say, okay, 107, it's got lightning. I don't like that. Let's let's see if we can get one with um, actual lightning, cold, and fire. So we're gonna take this off and we're gonna say, we'll even, we'll even say we don't even care about the armor. And we'll say lightning, cold, and fire. They're at the top of the list here, just um, that's how they've organized it. But let's say it wasn't. You could go like this. You could say, you could say fire resistance, and you type it out exactly like this without any special things, and then it would come up, and you'd say explicit fire resistant. Okay, but you could also type something like this. Let's say you didn't know what it was exactly named. Put the tilde key in there, this little key by the escape key, and then you could type in uh, fire resist like that and it will start listing them that way so you can find really weird things what if it was called resistance fire down lower this would find it in fact if you went like this resistance fire and oh, fire and then said explicit it was it would narrow it down to just the explicit meaning it's not on it it's on it's one of the pre it's one of the suffixes on the mod on the uh on the item so we want fire and we're going to go like this so we've taken this one off and it's not um a pseudo it's actually on the thing itself and we'll just put 11 and then we'll do the cold so we'll go like that again cold riz explicit we'll do that one and we'll do the next one lightning re resistance um explicit now the problem is I think that it's that that movement speed is a um, suffix. So let's tr let's find out if it is. Movement speed, I think it is. Might be a prefix. Movement speed is not listed on here. One second. It's a prefix. Um, I don't really craft it on there much very often, so I did I wasn't one hundred percent sure. So now we've got movement speed of thirty five, and Let's move that down to just to 30. 35 on an explicit or on on a, as an explicit is about the max, but um 30 will give us a wider ch uh, choice. And we're going to go down to 99 of this. Now, if we tried to get all three of these, and we'll say 11 minimum, let's see if there's anything like that. Search. There is. Well, oh, it costs a divine. But take a look at these boots. These are pretty interesting. Um now they've got an open craft, so we could put a different prefix on there. We could uh, craft our, anything we'd want on our, ourselves. Probably this craft isn't that great, I don't think. Um, it's okay-ish, um, but there might be something better for you. But it's got 30% movement speed, fire, resist, it's got life. Those are all really nice. Anything down below? Another one. Increased lightning, it's got lightning, fire um cold and they crafted it on okay so if you only needed a little bit of cold you could do something like cold and chaos or something like that so um after that you would just direct whisper the guy you could direct whisper him or you could copy it and then paste it into your uh, you know swap back over and do that but this is how you're going to buy your first item um maybe you want to get into the cheaper ones so let's say do something like this if we move this down to 25 and let's go down to 55 life. Let's see what the chain uh, the changes are now. Now we're down to one chaos. It's a miracle. Not only that, it looks like it has a prefix open. Um, so you could exalt slam it if you want. If you have an exalted orb, you could slam on a third prefix here. You can change the craft to whatever you want. You could also say, hey, show me ones that aren't crafted. So you can come down here and you say crafted. And you say, no, don't show me those. Show me just the ones that are, you know, naturally come this way. Now we're up to five chaos. It's got 11% movement speed if you haven't been hit recently. I like the idea of this. So let's say you like the idea of just having this on there. You want this, but you want, um, you want it on there. Check this out. You found something on here that you like a lot, right? So let's go like this. You press this, you come down here, and you could you just take off all of these or now you know what it um it, it actually is named so you'd go something like this Ooh, let's see we can read it increased movement speed if 
haven't been hit. Okay. So increase, move, speed, if haven't been hit recently. And we'll say 8%. Then we'll take this off. Now, if we search, it's only going to show us. It should have. One second. <laughs> and I, I named it correctly. If you haven't taken damage, if you haven't been recently hit. So let's take that one off and we'll try to get it up there correctly. So increased movement, or you could just leave it like this with just this one unche uh, unchecked. Increased movement speed. Increased move speed if hit recently. If you haven't been hit recently, it's this one. If you, yeah, that's the one. And then we could take that off. And now if we search, there we go. Very cool. So now we can look at these. That's a pretty good price. Maybe you like this one. And I mean, I w if I'm, you know, just getting into maps and doing that for five chaos, that's great. That's 26, 37 movement speeds from some boots plus all that. I wouldn't mind. And then there's more things you could do to the implicits as well. And we'll get into that later with the um, different currency that you can roll to get more stuff on top up here. So that'd be great. And then you just direct person, direct whisper them and go over to their hideout when they reply, bring over the five chaos, trade it, make sure it's the right item. And then the next thing you would do is let's actually buy this item from them. I'll be right back. Okay. So this, the first guy didn't respond. He was either AFK um, or he is in a map. So we just bought the second item for 30 chaos and let's see request trade and it's 30 chaos done deal except I should check the thing a little better than that, but no big deal. Usually they get it right. And if, if somebody, you know, gave you the wrong item, item 99 out of a hundred times, they're going to, if you say, Hey, I got the wrong, wrong item, they'll replace it. Nice. And away we go. I gave him a double thank you, I guess. <laughs> now let's go to the next stage with these items. This item. Let's start improving it. We're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna improve the quality. You can see it ups the armor and that, but it's gonna do a couple of other things as well. It's gonna make us make it easier for us to get more um, sockets on there. We'll do that real quick. And you can just spam these, and it should stop at four. Cool. And then we're gonna go like this. We want to link them up. Um, in my case, I want I don't want them linked because I don't want this and this linked. It'll um, it ups the multiplier, the mana reservation multiplier of my assassin's mark, and then it doesn't work. So I, I had them separated. Um, I don't think I want to use these shoes, but maybe let's see, what's the movement speed on mine? Um, I can get that move. That's a uh, 30. We'll call it 30 and this is 37. So that's interesting. <laughs> uh, how much health on these? 67 that's too low for me but we're gonna we're gonna work on these so it's got that and that and then we want to oh we want to link them up and you can do that as well let's say you want them four linked come on and wow there we go so now they're four linked red red green that's fine just like that you could wear them and use them just like this but there's another step to upgrading these um, and it's going to be right up here in your currency window. And eventually you're going to start to find these things. Um, you're going to find lesser, um, eater of worlds and lesser, uh, searing exarch. And you can actually buy these as well. And then there's, um, each, each time you step up, they get a little more expensive. Like these are really cheap, like a chaos each. These are two ish chaos each. And I, I haven't checked the price on these and these, but the, they'll get a better tier of roll. So if up there where it says that the 18% uh, the increased cooldown recovery and the 5% five, 5 movement, movement speed, those are really, really good for me. Um, you might want different ones. But how we get those, if we hold down Alt, it says Searing Exarch, and then the other one is Eater of a World. This one is the Searing Exarch. Uh, if you would like to see how it says lesser searing of Exart, and this is eater of worlds, that's how we'd re-roll those. If I didn't want that 5% movement speed or the increased travel time, um, I would just re-roll the appropriate one. So 
the the cooldown would be Eater of Worlds, I would keep re-rolling, and it would just change that mod. And we're going to do that to these boots right now. Let's uh, use this one and see what happens. Increased Elusive Effect. It would be nice if I had Elusive on here. I don't. So let's use these more expensive ones and re-roll that. Increased Cooldown Recovery Rate. Uh, that's in general. Um, all cooldown recovery rates. That's interesting. Um, let's re-roll it again. <laughs> let's find something fun. While in the unique, uh, it, while a unique enemy is in your presence, regenerate 0.3 of your life per endurance charge. Well, if I had eight or ten endurance charges, three percent of my life per second, um, and I've let's say I've got five, ten thousand would be three hundred, so one hundred and fifty life per second. Pretty cool. Let's do it one more time. Bleeding you inflict deals. Nah. One more time. <laughs> uh, War Cry. Infernal War Cry has a 28% increased area of effect when a unique is in your presence. And let's do it one more time. 45% increase from armor and gloves. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to use this one and add it on there. Perfect. 5% movement speed. Now these are getting tempting. <laughs> now we're up to um, the total movement speed. If I haven't been hit, hit recently, we're, cut, we're up to, what, 40... 5% movement speed, and then let's say this was the one you wanted, the item you wanted, and you were happy with it. I would just go with it, and and or we could sell this. I'm going to sell this for 50 chaos, <laughs> and uh, but you might want to wear them. Uh, but that's how you'd find the uh, upgrade, and sl slap them on there. If you can't find you know, uh, an upgrade, just reduce your requirements, you know, maybe not as much armor, maybe no, you maybe just forget about the armor and just show me any boots. Um, maybe a little bit less, um, movement speed or a little bit less or no fire, that kind of thing, but you get the idea. So you can really play with it. You can, now you know how to add mods to, you know, the list as you find a mod that you're interested in. So I'm going to go find an upgrade for me and I'll be right back. But that's how you do it, and it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find an upgrade. Oh boy. So I'm more concerned about life and movement speed and not concerned about much else at this point for these boots, maybe. But let's say I wanted to search and find out what's the maximum that I can get on some of these boots. It looks like about 1, 117 uh, with, a boot, with boots that have these. Let's say if I take that off and we'll search again. Now, if I, if I sort by um, this right here, total maximum life, now we can get up to 143 max, it looks like. So about 116 is the tier one roll. Well, it's got a bunch of... And all of a, all of a sudden, we're up to six divine. So I'm going to keep looking. I can actually do this as well. We've come down here, and I say suffix, um, empty suffix. We're going to type in empty suffix. And it's right here. Um, a maximum, a minimum of one and a maximum of one. Because I want to be able to craft on um, something like I need a little bit of fire or a little bit of cold and lightning. So let's see if we can search and find something like that. Nice. So now this one has a suffix open. In fact, I don't even care about... I don't even care about this, this fire at all. Um, good. So this would be an item. That's somewhat interesting. Um, what else could I do? Oh, I could search by the maximum life again. And I'll be right back. So I just whispered this guy for a divine for his boots. And I'm going to say who is on his name. So slash who is. If, he, if he's out in a play. Uh, no, he's in his hideout. So he's just AFK. He's just, it's not that he doesn't want to sell these. He's probably AFK. So uh, we'll give him a, a second and we'll see what happens here. There he is. We'll accept the trade. And we need a divine. And they had decks, and I actually need some decks to relieve some pressure on uh, some other items. So I was cool with that. And I said, ah, let's try these. Divine. There's the ones. Cool. And good. Accept. Nice. We'll say thank you. Cool. And done deal so let's go over here and if i were to just put these on well it put them on there for me <laughs> um if i were to put these on now and look at our defense um it 
you know, I need a little more cold and or cold and lightning. So I can just I made sure that there was a suffix open. Uh oh, did I do it incorrectly? I think I did. That's a prefix open. Let's see. No, that should be a suffix open. Is there a prefix open as well? Wow. Oh, it's it counts as just one. The the movement speed. That's really nice, actually. Um, so we've got a prefix open on this too. I didn't re I didn't realize that the movement speed line with the twelve percent. That's a that's a a tier one prefix chosen mod. So let's give that a shot. So now I can actually exalt slam this. Mm, didn't notice that. Very cool. I was a little bit concerned. I saw this at the top and I was like, wait a second. Um, let's go back down. We wanted cold and lightning, right? And I want to get a really good roll on there. So I'm going to go for a 20. Um, <laughs> we'll see what what happens what, what happens here. So craft, cold and lightning. I just going to double check. Yeah. What'd we get? No. So we're going to replace it. We'll replace it again. 19. Replace it. There we go. <laughs> Took a while. There we go. So the next step. Buying um, some exalted um, orbs to slam on a prefix. And I'll show you what those do in a second. Come on. They're 10 chaos each right now. Maybe they're looking for them. Let's see where he... Did he put a blocker there? <laughs> we can't walk into his area. Here we go. And just like that. Four exalted orbs. Cool. And let's go use it. Okay, exalted orbs. If we look at these, um, they actually say um, they'll augment a rare item with a new random modifier. So an additional one. We have, it normally can have three prefixes on a rare and three suffixes. We only have two prefixes and we craft it on that, mat, that suffix. Um, so let's do it. Let's uh, take, uh, we're just gonna hope for something great. I mean, if we could get something really, really good on here as a prefix, I don't know what really would be great. I wouldn't mind intelligence on there. Here we go. Oddly enough. Come on. Something. Increased rarity. Not really that good. Not I'm not magic finding, but not the worst possible thing. It could have said plus two armor or some weird stuff like that. So it's at least a, a little bit useful. And away we go. Let's go uh, the, the next step. I've got to blanch. Uh, the most likely thing is I've got to blanch these. Um, the likelihood of me getting blue and blue on the top like this are really rare. Like a double blue. I can get two blues on there, but it's very hard to get two blues in general because it's a strength and dex item. It doesn't int. If it's an int based item, see how it says 62, 62. You're going to get more reds and greens. And you can see how we're not getting too many blues. We could do it this way. There's another way you could do it by um, another way, but I think I'm going to go with the the blanching way. And yeah, this isn't working. I'll do four more. One, two, three, four. Ah, we got the blue and the blue up top. I need it that way because the links only. I can't link like this and like this. It would be cool if it did, but nope. Okay, so I'll get some omens of blanching. And we got one at 30. Nice. Thank you. Um, these are really competitive. Um, they sell out really quickly. I was getting into the 40s. I was offering 40 chaos per one. So I was, uh, I was almost up to a, a divine for four of these things. So these are pretty valuable. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go use our one here that we got. I was trying to get more of them. All right, the moment of truth. Um, <laughs> I got one shot at this. I hope it lands. I mean, I got really lucky with the triple white here. Um, let's find out. We'll put the one here. Is that going to be a lucky one? Lucky. And it's going to use this. It's, it, it's going to, when I use this and I have this on me, it's going to use it and tr turn one to three of them white. I don't think it's going to work. We'll see. One, two, three. Ooh, that actually, oh no. I need a... Actually, no, that'll work. The green and the blue. And then, oh, I needed this to be red. I could turn one of them red and hope that it... No. I don't think that's going to work. Nope. But I'll keep working on it. But anyways, um, you get the idea. I can re-roll this. I'm going to try to replace these boots. And I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> um, 
and that's it's gonna cost me another 30 chaos and another 30 i'll get there though nice now i could try to do it up here but i'm kind of in the same boat it's um this is a strength based helm so it's even more difficult maybe i could do it here hmm that's a possibility i could get red red there and then and move these over here i think that's what i'll do right now let's give it a shot Okay, so now these these gems can move into this, and then this one I just need red, red, green, blue. So one blue and one green. This is more, way more doable. Oh, come on. That works. It should work. Nice. Now these boots, I'm going to try to sell these for two divine. And... Maybe even 2.5 divine. Exact price. We'll start it out at 2.5 divine. Um, there's nothing like this with three whites on there. We'll go three divine. If somebody really, you know, they're rich, they don't care, and they just want the three uh, whites on there like that, the three white sockets, let's, you know, let's go with that. Because it might take, like, in fact, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say five and, or six, <laughs> and then we'll lower it down from there. It might be really hard to get three. Th I haven't done a lot of spamming of the blanching omens, so it might be really hard to get three on there. So we'll go with that. We'll say six. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to upgrade this. And we know how to upgrade this with these. So I'm going to take some of these. Oh, let's take a bunch of them. And you could use them out of here, but I, I don't mind doing it like this. And I'm going to start rolling on this. Ideally, I'm going to end up with something very similar or 5% move speed and that that uh the travel thing and the travel thing um is eater of worlds so we're going to try this one first let's do that and see what we get first gains physical damage as extra chaos no while your enemies on cooldown while your while a unique enemy is in my presence increase cooldown recovery of travel skills not good enough i want it for the others just in general all the time avoid bleeding Intimidating Cry, 18% cooldown recovery rate. Nice. I don't use that one, though. Increase Elusive Effect if I have Elusive on my boots. or, And then... Um, in, nope, not that one. Not that one. Oh, we're getting down. I might have to go buy more of these. Nope. Oh, we got it? And is it 18%? Same as before. And what about this thing? Now we're going to try the second one. Fire resist, you could do that. If you needed fire resist, you could get you could get some more of that way. Nice. Drops brittle ground. Um, does it explain what brittle ground does? Enemies in brittle ground hits have two percent increased critical strike chance against them. Not terrible. That I stack a lot of critical. Um, I think we're up to uh, all buffed and ready. I'm at fifty two, and then I have a th probably about five hundred plus critical strike multiplier it just, it's pretty good but i i'm not gonna go with that i need the i want more movement speed oddly enough even five percent and it lasts three seconds two percent is that i wonder if it's two percent base let's see hits have plus two percent critical strike chance that's probably actually pretty good um i'm gonna i'm go i'm cool we're just gonna keep going that's probably a pretty good one though fire resistance uh now, unique to uh, increased totem placement speed. I'm all right. I'll take it. 6% movement speed. Not bad. So now we've up. You saw how to upgrade your boots. Uh, my boots are going to be a little more expensive. Um, but we're in better shape. And now, once I turn everything on, that auto thing, we're moving faster now. Um, what about the, the. So now I'm. This is just, you know, the regular movement speed when I'm running around and this thing auto fires. So I'm way, I'm happier now with these. Definitely. And we're in good shape just to double check. Oh, we got to turn on our purity. We're in good shape. I've upgraded. I like this. And we even have some more, a little more. Um, oh, the dexterity is great. That takes some pressure off this so I can switch over to just maybe intelligence. We're in great this is really good. In fact, the next, um, what I can do is the next uh, point to spend, I could pen spend something like that and, un and take care of um, intelligence needs. And then, and then I can upgrade my gloves without dex and intelligence on them. 
So that's how you get stronger and stronger over time. Just narrowing things down, upgrading incrementally, and having a good time with it. But I hope this helps. I hope this explains some things. But, you know, it's every item. Keep on um, upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Looking for, um, for me, I wanted um, corrupted item with two implicits on there. So I got 7% increased and 21% increased critical strike multiplier when any f flask and it's an effect there's a lot to this but i love it guys it's a lot of fun i'm moving faster than i was before i'm happy with it and i'm stronger and better and more powerful very cool in the next episode i really uh, if you if you if i forget remind me but um i want to show you how to make one of the um <clears throat> one of these um and we could even make it so that it auto fires very cheaply we're talking about 10 chaos or less um and it's going to be amazing and you really 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 um need one of these so we're going to get you there i'm i need a new one of these i'll probably make a new one in the next episode i like that idea cool